hey guys welcome back to next gen block and in this video i want to show you how you can create a loading animation in vscc free video editor now it's actually super easy to create a loading animation in vscc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this first i would like to add a text object in the timeline so to do that go to add object Go to text, click on text and now click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has. Now next what you need to do is you need to change the font. So currently the font is set to Arial. So change the font from Arial to Webdings. So write W E B d i n g s and then press enter now double click inside the text box and what you need to do is you need to press the letter n three times on your keyboard so press the letter n three times one two three now the moment you press the letter n three times you will see these three circles appear on screen now next what you need to do is you need to center align these circles. So select these circles and then go to paragraph and then select center and once again go to paragraph and then select center align. Now let's just increase the size of these circles. So currently the size is set to 60 pixels. So increase the size from 60 to 200 pixels. And let's also increase the space between these circles. So right here is the tracking option. So increase the value inside the tracking option from 0 pixel to let's say somewhere around 50 pixel. Perfect. Now I would like to change the color of my circles. So currently the color is white. So click on text color and then click on more colors and I have a very specific color which I want. So let me just directly write the HTML notation of that color. So the HTML notation is E8 786A and now click on OK. Perfect. Now double click on the text object. And what we are going to do is we will go to text effects and then select recoloring and now click on OK. Now place the recoloring text effect right at the beginning like this and look inside the recoloring text effect settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside effect direction currently fade out is selected. So first of all change this from fade out to fade in. Inside glyph drawing time currently the value is 100%. So delete this value and instead of 100 you need to write 250 and then press enter. Perfect. Now next what you need to do is you need to create a duplicate of this recoloring text effect. So click on this recoloring text effect, press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate. Now place this second recoloring text effect right after the first recoloring text effect like this and look inside the recoloring text effect settings of this second recoloring text effect. Inside effect direction currently fade in is selected so change this from fade in to fade out and inside glyph drawing time currently the value is 250%. So delete this value and write 100 and then press enter. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. All right. Now next what you need to do is you need to select these two recoloring text effects. Press Ctrl C to copy them and press Ctrl V to paste two additional duplicates. Now place these two duplicates after the first two recoloring text effects. Like this. Once again press Ctrl V to paste two additional duplicates and place them after the first four recoloring text effects. Once again press Ctrl V and repeat the procedure. And finally once again press Ctrl V. 
perfect and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so this is how things are looking right now all right all right now next what you need to do is you need to go to text effects once again and now select shift position and now click on ok now make sure that the text shift effect is below the recoloring text effects like this and place this text shift effect right at the beginning like this and now look inside the text shift effect settings which is present inside the properties window inside effect direction currently fade out is selected so change this from fade out to fade in inside glyph drawing time currently the value is 100% so delete this value and instead of 100 write 250 and then press enter and inside initial glyph position outside text object is selected so that's fine inside angle change per glyph zero degree is there so that's fine as well inside angle currently the value is 45 degree so what you need to do is you need to delete this value and instead of 45 you need to write 270 and then press enter perfect and so now if i just quickly play the video for you perfect all right now select the text shift effect press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this second text shift effect right here and once again press ctrl v place this third text shift effect right here and once again press ctrl v place this fourth text shift effect right here perfect and finally press ctrl v once again and place this fifth text shift effect right about here perfect and that's it and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start perfect so this is how you can create a loading animation in vscc free video editor all right let me just play this thing for you in preview as well perfect so this is how you can create a loading animation in vscc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching